and this is the one that gets missed. So let's look at the numbers. The average person has 500 connections. If you get 500 employees to do one thing a week, they can reach 250,000 people. If you've got 5,000 employees doing one thing a week, that's 2.5 million people. And because they're people, they're trusted. And I saw some research recently, and I'm going to get some new research from LinkedIn, which is, which is even better. But if you get your employees sharing your content, your company content, you get 10 times more exposure. But it's also not going very well too, right? How many people have got friends on Facebook who are constantly sharing boring, boring information from their company? Yeah? You know those people, you just want to block them? Because they're not using their brains, right? Like, just looking like a good boy or girl for their company. So there's a lot of that going around. But we do need to unleash the employees of business. And it's not just about the employees becoming advocates for the brand. It's about them becoming advocates for themselves first. Employees should not just be advocating, they should also be creating their own content. So, to unleash the employees of business, you've got to do, the first thing is you've got to ch change the culture and it's got to be a culture of trust. And of course, this is a difficult thing to do in Asia. It's not the way it's normally done. The top echelons are always valued and everybody else below is not. It needs to go across the organisation. The second thing is social media guidelines. So, the majority of guidelines I see were written 10 years ago and they don't work anymore. So get rid of them. And the guidelines of today, which is very similar to what you were telling me that Lloyd's are doing, should be linked to the company values. Tell your people to go out and be a respect, respectful human being. That's it. You don't need to tell them what else to do. The point about being employee brands first, it has to be the priority of businesses today. The brand basks in the glory of an excellent employee brand. Your brand looks better when you hire amazing people. By 2020, 50% of the workforce will be millennials, according to LinkedIn. What are they looking for? Company culture. How do they find out about it? They read the stuff the employees write about it. And I was working at Novus before, we had a company blog. Every single interviewee came in, read every single blog the employees wrote, because that's what they were looking for. They wanted to know who we were and what we were about. So that's really important. There's a lot of platforms out there. I think it's, we're getting into the overwhelming space before they all start getting acquired or disappearing. I saw Elevate the other day, LinkedIn's new platform for big enterprises. There's a lot of platforms, but choosing a platform is really important because it allows you to measure. And if you can measure, you can demonstrate success. Um, champions, that example of cloud that I showed you earlier, there are a whole group of people in the company already blogging and quite famous for their blogging. And the managing director brought them in and put them on the company platform. They didn't want to be because they were happy where they were, but she promised them she'd give them more profile on the back of the brand. So find your champions, but don't underestimate the people who can be unlocked. So I've run a lot of training programs and there's someone who has no social media presence before they walk in the room. They walk out of the room and they turn into a monster. A monster I'm proud of, of course. And then the one-to-one -one coaching. So the important people in your organisation, your senior executives, your top salespeople, coach them. It's not intuitive to everybody. It's obviously intuitive to me because I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing, right? Um, IBM in the US had, had a case where they measured those who weren't coached were only successful 9% of the time. Those who were coached, 87% successful. So the coaching is actually really important. It's amazing what people don't know. But if you're asked to share company information or if you're encouraging your employees to share company information, Please, tell them to be advocates for themselves first. Have their own point of view, stand for something, be known for something, and then be a nice employee and share one piece of content a week. But it shouldn't be about you, it's about them.